Good morning from Porto. We are just about to set off on the central route with a bit of a twist. By the way, that is Sprinkon is back for a special appearance as well as Alexander the eager pilgrim. And uh, so today we are, we couldn't find accommodation on the central route. So we heading out of Porto on a metro to Matintichos. We've been there before. And then we're going to head to Villa de Conde, which is about 24 kilometers. And then the plan is to head inland to Barcelos uh, second day. So um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. It is day one on the Camino Portuguese Central Route. And the weather is clearish now, it rained earlier, and we might expect a little bit of rain a little bit later, but we'll see how it goes. So off we go. First day, Buen Camino. Say Buen Camino. Buen Camino. going to the lighthouse where last time I took some good drone footage I do have a new drone thank you for bringing it all the way so for those of you who are not joining the dots so I just finished the Primitivo and on day three a bird stole my drone so there was no drone footage for the rest of that trip but now I have a drone again so let's hope for less birds less Portuguese birds a little bit of blue sky yeah. So just after the lighthouse, there's a little fort with a church next to the sea. And then I can already see the boardwalks where we're going to spend most of today. So the boardwalks are fairly challenging in that you kind of bounce up and down as you walk, which is uh, quite tiring on the legs. And that is exactly where I got my blister on the Portuguese last time on day one. So, yeah. Interesting.
a much better idea to catch the metro, we think. So not only is your first day not 34 kilometers on boardwalks which will be just but also you skip the first 10 kilometers which is really not pretty so, so that's so worthwhile have a good first day and uh, start next to the sea so young Padawan Pellegrino is like a rocket ship out of the starting blocks cruising down the beachfront is like the flash is leaving like a streak of lightning in his wake we'll talk again remember this moment <laughs> or maybe not maybe not but let's see Pace yourself, young Padawan. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So, um, officially on the boardwalks. So, uh, yeah, other Pellegrinos have been warned. Don't underestimate the dark side of the boardwalk. Just so. It's starting to rain a little bit. I haven't pulled out the drone yet, so <clears throat> that'll come. Don't do it. I don't know what he is talking about. Don't do it. Don't do what? The don't young Pelopadawan is walking with his earphones in his hand. Hey, the Pellegrinos of today. So, as you can see from Padawan Pellegrino behind me, the rain came. It's like following me around. Unbelievable. Like, leave me alone for a little bit. It rained on the Primitivo most of the time. Now, Portuguese. Anyway, seeing lots of underprepared Pellegrinos with like clear plastic bags over there. <laughs> Rain cover is important. I'm sorry, you're busy doing your toilet maneuver. I'm sorry, there's a cut. Your future is green, John Deere Green. So uh, 9.8 kilometers to Villa de Conde from here. We're gonna stop and have a bit of a lunch break. See if we can get some seafood before we go inland. Soup and a beer and pate and sardinos and frango. It's right, so about nine kilometers to Villa de Conde, and uh, yeah, still in rain gear. 
there was a lack of thunderstorm just now. Well, I wouldn't call it a thunderstorm, let's just call it a cloud break. And uh, now, stopped again. Off and on. Spring on is there, not springing yet, but why? We're getting stick stuck. Stick stuck, stick stuck. see Villa de Ponde in front of us. We're still on boardwalks. So just so that you know on this route they are doing major renovations on the boardwalks and so they should because it's like a bad dental job with like one missing every five steps. So not great for Pellegrinos walking this route. Also a lot of the Times there's sand over the boardwalk, so you're pretty much walking on the beach, which makes uh, makes it fairly heavy going here. Um, both of the Pellegrinos at the back there uh, are, have got hot spots on their feet, um, so we needed to kind of treat those, put on a bit of blister wool and uh, Vaseline and so forth. So we're almost in Villa de Conde, and then uh, that'll be the end of day one. On the coastal Portuguese route going internal or, or central soon. Entry into Villa de Conde is very unawe inspiring. You walk through like this kind of back street building site thing in Majigis. So, I remember this, I'm going to cross the river up ahead, and then we are there. Crossing the river into Villa de Ponda in the rain. Nothing unusual here. Almost at the albergue, making our way through the streets of Valle de Conde. And uh, a shame. the young Padawan has got problems with his feet, so he's in agony. Um, so we're gonna have to give him a bit of a rub tonight. So I just went to the supermarket. But this place is beautiful. I missed the com inside completely when we were here last time. So this is the square and then there's some beautiful houses around the square. I've just been to Little, got a whole bag of things and that'll be our supper for tonight. And the albergue here is uh, the, the youth Albergue in a beautiful old house. I'll include the clip now. So you'll see that it's completely renovated, new, uh, beautiful um, kind of bedding arrangement, duvets, sheets, towels, uh, great bathrooms, great kind of 
central area. So, yeah, very, very nice place to stay when you're in Valladolid.